with Selena Blake with Refine Horizons. And it is, today is August 9th. I'm rocking my do-rag. I hope you guys like it. I'm rocking my do-rag because it's 7.02 p.m. It is currently 102 degrees here in the beautiful city of Stockton, California. I'll basically be baking my brains out the whole month of August. So I got field work tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's going to be nice and toasty. <laughs> All right. So, what is the purpose of this video? The purpose of this video is to show you how easy it is to do a combined least squares adjustment in Trimble Business Center with total station data and GPS data. It's something I've been trying to figure out for a long time, and I finally figured it out. Oh, last week, I feel really foolish because it's so simple, and I've been beating my head on this. I don't know why there isn't a YouTube video that shows you how to do this. So here you go. Here's your YouTube video. So. I've got a project here where we had an existing static network and then uh, we went out and we did some total station data so we've got some cross ties to some of our points with our total station data and you can see I've got this I managed to get this to group together in a least squares adjustment so how do you do that alright this is the secret it's so easy I'm embarrassed if you go into your project settings under network adjustment and let's see Edit your, let's see, is it standard settings? Oh man, hang on a second now. Yeah, no. Let's see, right here. Okay, you see this right here? Under general? It says ignore side shots. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want it to say that. You want to say include side shots. As soon as you do that, it picks up all these total station vectors. That's it, that's all there is to it. Everything else about the freaking network adjustment is basically the same as I've taught you guys in your other videos. Now, the other thing you have to do is you also want to make sure, since we're including total station vectors in our network adjustment, is you want to go to your default standard errors and make sure you've set something reasonable on your total station values. And I find that the, these values are a little too small for me, for my particular total station. The angular values are a little too small. So I'm going to drop jump those up to 15 seconds and 20 seconds on the vertical, 15 on the horizontal, 20 on the vertical. Uh, these centering errors are okay, and height of instrument, they look okay. So now when you do that, and we go over to our survey tab and run our network adjustment, uh, and we hit adjust. Uh, you can see I passed my uh, G-square test with a reference factor of 0 0.096, uh, which is pretty stinking good. And you can see it gives me error ellipses on my uh, total station, uh, the points that are coming from my total station vectors. So, for example, if we if we hadn't got that to work, we wouldn't have any vector at all on 3, right? Because 3 only has total station vectors to it. And uh, you, you will also note that uh, I've got some kind of crappy geometry here <laughs> with my some of my total station vectors, so as we can expect, these aren't nice round ellipses, right? Um, 202 and 3 and uh, 1 and 2, which are only total station points and don't have great geometry. They have oblong ellipses, which is what we would expect, but of course everything tied with a GPS vector has a, has a nice round error ellipse. Um, I'm not super worried about that. I think I still got a good adjustment here, and uh, I'm super stoked. We can just run our report. Uh, but I'm super, uh, super stoked that we got these total station vectors included. So you can see here our network adjustment, right? And when we come down here and look at the look at our values, um, let's see, adjusted grid coordinates, and uh, this is what I want to look at here. So northing error, and those are all pretty low. Looks like the biggest one we have is 800s, and that's on one of our cores. But everything on my site is. Uh, about, it looks like it's 300ths or less in the northing, 300ths and less in the easting, except for this .202 is a little larger in the easting. And uh, man, about, I don't know, four or 500ths or less in the uh, elevation. Um, so uh, we got a really good good result here, good adjustment. Right, you can also look at your air ellipses, get an idea. You know, this, is, this is nice and tight, man. Most of this stuff is four 300ths or less. So good enough for the girls we're dancing with. So, uh, anyways, wanted to show you guys that. Uh, super easy. Again, let me show you where that toggle is. 
So you just come in here to network adjustment uh, under general and you want to make sure you check include side shots. And uh, then you'll you'll pick up those total station vectors. All right, this video is only, uh, I'm only about five minutes here. It's a little short, but I'm going to end it. What I want to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with a project from scratch that's got some combined uh, static and total station data. I've got an, another project, TBC project on a different job. I want to show you guys that, okay? So uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and, and I'll walk through this uh, in a little more detail in, the, in my next video.